Hey guys, Dr. Yo from ECA Wellness. It's so good seeing you guys again today. And on this episode of Feature Friday, I'm going to be going over the biography of A.V. Hill. A.V. Hill was the first to introduce the VO2 max test, and he also developed those force velocity curves that have guided us in how we lift weights, train, and exercise. A.V. Hill received the 1922 Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology, and he's made lasting contributions and research in the field of applied exercise physiology and muscle mechanics. He introduced many physiological concepts and paradigms that are still the backbone of how we exercise and train. I'm so excited about this video and so glad you guys can join me today. Archibald Vivian Hill, known as A.V. to his family and colleagues, was born in Bristol, England, 1886. As a young man, he competed in cross country and track and field, and combined with his keen interest in physiology and math, led him to subsequently double major in mathematics and the natural sciences at Trinity College in Cambridge. In 1907, he was part of the research team that published a paper showing that muscles can continue contracting even with low oxygen conditions and that lactic acid formed under these conditions. This was the beginning of our understanding of the concept of anaerobic threshold. Prior to Hill's studies, doctors and scientists believed that all muscle contractions were only aerobic in nature, meaning muscles needed oxygen to contract. In 1920, Hill started research on isometric muscle contractions, and he was able to demonstrate that heat was produced during muscle contraction, relaxation, and recovery. He demonstrated that oxygen is needed only for the recovery phase of the muscle, not the contraction phase. So when the muscle contracts, it is due to high energy phosphates, which were later discovered to be the energy molecule ATP. However, he found when the muscle relaxes, more heat was produced when oxygen was present than when it was absent. This demonstrated that there were two pathways to relax the muscle, one utilizing oxygen and another without oxygen. He also discovered that the higher the exercise intensity, the higher the blood lactate levels and the greater the oxygen debt in recovery. A.V. Hill received the 1922 Nobel Prize for Medicine and Physiology for his discovery relating to the production of heat in muscles and for the discovery that there were two distinct pathways responsible for supplying energy, the aerobic and the anaerobic systems. Hill and the German physiologist Otto Meyerhoff initially theorized that lactic acid had a role in supplying energy to the muscle but Meyerhoff later proved this incorrect in 1942 when all of the energy producing pathways were discovered. Hill's development of VO2 max started at Manchester University when he and his researchers strapped Douglas bags, which were rubber lined cloth bags that could hold 50 to 100 liters of air, on their backs and collected expired air samples while running they were able to study the time course of the increase in oxygen intake at various running speeds. Hill found that there is an upper limit on an individual's ability to take in and consume oxygen, and that maximum cardiac output was an important determinant of VO2 max. These are concepts of VO2 max that are still universally accepted today in exercise physiology. Hill also studied the force velocity curves in muscles, and in 1938 developed an equation that allowed scientists to distinguish and identify slow twitch and fast twitch muscles and to develop force power curves and determine peak power. This curve described by Hill over 80 years ago is still central to human muscle mechanics and is used by fitness trainers and kinesiologists in developing exercise protocols and prescriptions for athletes. So thank you for watching this video. 
There have been a lot of researchers, scientists, and doctors throughout modern history who have made valuable contributions and discoveries to make our lives better. Sometimes we've taken their works for granted, but it is important to remember their contributions and that science is continuously building upon someone else's work. If you guys have any questions regarding this video and any of the topics I went over, drop me a message down below in the comment section below or on Instagram at ECA Wellness. And if you guys like this video and you're liking Feature Friday, hit that like button, click the bell so you get notifications when I put out a new video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next Friday, ciao.